Well, this old girl is long in the tooth, eh? I got it on a tray. So right there, it's it's free, sitting right there. Obviously, I just went and got one of these out of my shed. It needs a, a air filter intake and cover to go on there. And of course the gasket. The gasket's on the carburetor still. It has enough oil so that it's not going to blow up. And the tank looks like it needs a rinse. I'm expecting the carburetor to be clogged. Let's just have a little find out here. Oh, All I want it to do is fire, go round and round, and then we'll fix it. Whoa! She knocked a little bit at first, didn't it? Well, let's just see if it'll run a little more. And if it hasn't run for 10 years, You'd knock too. Oh. Okay, my little friend, one more, one more go. Now it's flooded. That's all right. I want to check the flywheel key because the engine has such a heavy death rattle it doesn't sound like it should. There's no slack in the in the blade and uh, I just want to see. This is a little more involved because we've got this this whole thing is it's quantum but the whole thing is a uh, there's a gas tank shroud the whole thing on top, right? This is where I like the magnet. Yep, that's her, baby. And it's also a gas tank, right? So we have to be careful. Uh, yep. Oh, there's a 3 8 on the side. Now I remember. I'm back over here, down here. Hey, 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 hey Ralphie boy. Oh, man. Okay, so we got that off. Now, I gotta take, they are three, eights, one, two, three, and four. Oh, the tank just disconnected itself, that's fine. I, I'm going to clean this carburetor while I'm at it. So three eighths. And all I'm doing here is I want to see the flywheel key. I got a feeling it's up like two degrees. Oh yes, and I need a, a five sixteenths for the uh, dipstick. Now this should just pull off. And then I think this is like a 13 sixteenths or 11 64 or one ridiculous size like that. I'm being, I'm being fought. So one inch or 15 sixteenths, that's the one. I need a tool. Are you guys all right? Find out right now. The only 
just have to be out a tiny bit, eh? I think it's okay. So now I gotta think about it. This machine has a death rattle. But it could even be something like a magnet pulling over a piece of tin on the shroud. Spark plug is unplugged. gas. This thing's got a death rattle. And if you don't know what a death rattle is, you're going to find out. Okay. The brake is on. So we should get spark and fire. You ready? We're dripping everywhere. Or the oil bung is still in. It has the death rattle. It doesn't sound like a rod. Put it back together now, guys. We'll, we'll, we'll cross into this one again. And just quick and dirty, I'm going to pull this carburetor off of here. And uh, we're going to throw it into the back. Ooh. No return strength. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Okay. You don't have to see that. Okay, I've got a bit of a mess here. But what, what I'm trying to do is uh, put a new seal in this carburetor. It didn't clean that well. Nope, nothing. Nope. If I can blow through it with my lips, it's not working. Okay, plan B when I get that. All right, I threw that other carburetor away. I could not get a seal on the uh, on the uh, needle and seat. I have this one, same carburetor. It's the primer type for the. Uh, it's got the little hole for the primer air to go through, and uh, I'm going to just use it. It says uh, test before using, and I tested it, and it holds five and a half pounds. Good to go. So here. We have a gas tank. It's the old style quantum gas tank. The whole thing is one piece. And these tend to leak. So I'm going to hook my Ken from Ken Small Engines tester up to the output of this tank. I'm going to hold my hand over here and I'm going to hope I can even pressure this up to four pounds and we'll see if this tank gas tank leaks. It's going to take about 50 pumps. It's a big space, eh? Let's just see if we're taking anything. Oh yeah. I think four pounds is probably enough to tank, not a carburetor. There now, can you see that? Now listen to my hand, or listen to this. I don't think that tank's going to leak. I think this tank's good. We can finish fixing the lawnmower. Now, here we go. That goes on there like that. And then we just need the two quarter inch by three eighths. And we're going to zip this onto there. Here's a 3 8 that's been shaved. 
And that's way better. Good. Now we need a fuel line. There's the term. It's pretty ugly. I'll be right back. Perfect mundo. Okay. Blades on, tightened. We don't have a throttle control yet. Oh, we need we might need the clamp. Come on. I know there's fuel in it. Attempt number two. I did my, uh, my friend Wayne. I went and tightened all of the head bolts, just just a skosh. And uh, we'll see if it has any better reaction. Let's give it a couple of squirts. Excuse me, I'm in the way. And see if that new DR2LM and the cleaner carburetor helps. Come on. friends this is my blade adapter puller bolt it has a notch in the center and I'm going to try and just pull this nice Murray blade adapter off of here if I can good Five eighths. I just remember that. Okay, let's just see if we can lift that off of there without getting a hernia. Can you see that at all? I think you can. Watch your eyes. Ooh, baby! I might have to just put a little bit of heat onto that. Okay, let's get the flammables out of the way. I'm going to use a longer ratchet and a 5 8 half inch socket. Should do it. And at the same time, I'm going to 
to shock it. This is so fan water, but it's water. See if we can get that off there. Is it coming? Or something? Or something gonna go? Gonna get a flashlight and have a better look. Be right in there. I am not sure. Something's given. Yeah, the the angle of the the angle of this is getting wonky. Look at that. I'll, I'll get this is worth moving the camera over. Right there. You see that new rusty spot? I tell you, sometimes I think that when I uh, shock the shaft here with cold water and heat this with propane, it really changes the temperature on it, eh? And that's good because I I am shy on these adapters, these old Murray adapters. I don't have very many. thing, aren't they? Let's just squirt that with the water. It's hot. There. Magic. I tell you, when I cut that little groove and point into the... Uh, end of this bolt and then I just keep it in my toolbox that's the key right there all right well that's the first step in the discovery of this quantum to see why it quit so before before I started I thought I just might be able to uh, use a little ball peen hammer and tap this off of here like this and that was not gonna work hey eh? hi guys Bruce here well, I'm going to take the sump off this old quantum engine, and I'm just, I, I couldn't figure out why it would run poor, it would run, but very, very poorly. Well, and they're pretty tight. Well, 
Damn if they're all the same length. I think there's one that has, uh, that goes right into the block if I'm not mistaken. Okay, hammer. going back together again, but it might. I did clean the shaft up, but not maybe enough. Nope, I'm going to have to oil it. Sand it too, right? There we go. Oh, it's got the. This is an old engine, you guys. And it's got the plastic cam gear in it. Look at that, eh? And it feels pretty worn to me. Okay, the timing marks are on. This is the governor. This is the timing gear. Okay, so I know that this lobe is the exhaust valve and it's supposed to line up perfectly with the uh, timing mark, that little tiny little plastic notch right there. So I'm going to uh, also take out, I'm not going to run this engine again. So, we're just going to see if we can take it apart and uh, see if we've got a ring, ring problem or something like that. Ooh. I don't like putting too much pressure on... Uh, I think this engine's been put back together once. That's too tight. engine has been taken apart. You getting any of that? You're getting some of it, eh? So I'm just taking the rod cap off. And I'm going to pull the piston out to see if the if the uh, rings are all lined up. Something's not right with this engine. So I tried four or five Briggs and Stratton carburetors and and I got nowhere. Burning rich, burning rich, burning rich, burning rich. Keep those doggies burning. Come on. How come the ones that are hard to reach seem longer, eh? I should give her a little tap. Good. Push the piston back up again. We'll get that. Oh, we gotta go through quite a bit to get that crankshaft out of there, don't we? Unless I can squeak that through and we can pull the piston out from the top. kinds of tricks, eh? There we go. Okay. Now we can have a look at this. You know what? Look at that, guys. The, the rings, the gaps in the rings are together. 
and there's a groove. Oh, screwdriver. Yep, right there. Is that where the is that where it would be? Let's see. We need to go in like that. That's really interesting. I'm gonna do a piston gap check. If I can get them out. Go halfway down. Not bad. Piston gaps about twenty thousandths halfway down on that one. I know this is a horrible thing to do to a ring, but I'm not. Re I'm not reusing this engine. I want to get it out though. You know that ring is not rotating and it's uh, that's the problem. Okay guys, this bottom ring won't rotate. Oh, I broke it. Coming off in pieces. So there we go. We had bad rings. The second ring is stuck in the groove and I can't get it out. And I might drown. There it is. Okay. So there we go, folks. The ring grooves were all lined up and the bottom ring was seized. Wouldn't turn in on the in the ring groove. I don't do I don't do autopsies that often, eh? Ralphie boy. Now has that been torqued? Nope, you can even still read the little Biggs and Stratton on there. Okay, now that crankshaft should come out of there. It's really scored, eh? There, right there, along here. And oh boy, right up there. You can feel that one too. Yes, there's another one right there. That's turned over. So that's really interesting, hey guys? And, and look at this. Through all that, the crankshaft is absolutely perfect, right? I might just throw this one in the parts bin. So the cylinder is scored and the bottom ring was seized onto the ring. The bottom, sorry, the bottom ring was seized onto the piston and it wouldn't turn. And the two, also the two rings were lined up in the same spot, allowing gases to escape. Wow!